everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are going to test another uh, pouring medium. This is by U.S. Art Supply. The label is really, really bad. I don't know how bad it was when it was put in the box to ship to me, but it was in the same box as the last one that leaked all over the place. So that's why it looks all goopy. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description just so you can see what it's supposed to look like, but it's by U.S. Art Supply. It's a gloss pouring medium. It says acrylic pouring medium that improves the consistency and flow of paints during pouring techniques. Pouring medium enhances the paint finish from cracking, fading, and separating. Do not mix with oil paint. So I've got a pour over pa uh, canvas here. I didn't like it, so I just spray painted over it yesterday. And I've got all these colors mixed up. I've got black and white. We'll go over the colors first, then I'll tell you about the mixing process. And um, these are Artist Loft Acrylic, this bottles. And then I've got green, and this is just the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. Gold, again, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. This blue, which is Admiral Blue by Apple Barrel. I wanted to test a couple different types of acrylic paint. These are all kind of thicker, that's a lot thinner. Same with this one, this is Laguna by Apple Barrel. You can see this is very watery, runny in a couple of these. Um, this one's very runny too. We'll see how that plays out here. This is Red by Artist Loft Acrylic. It's this bottle. And then this is a weird purpley color. <laughs> it's the red and the blue mixed together these two to get this and then I've got this blue green color which are these two mixed together to get this really pretty so I hadn't really thought about what I wanted to do here today so while I think about that I'll tell you about this mixing process it was interesting um, here's all the ones that I haven't figured out how to fix yet <laughs> um, I'll try to put a picture in right now. No, I won't. Well, I don't know how to describe what I'm trying to say here to you guys. I'm sorry. It's kind of clumpy. I, won't, I don't need to put a picture. I can just show you. What am I thinking? It's like cottage cheesy. And I figured out kind of the, the trick near the end of this process. And so I had to kind of play damage control <laughs> and go try to fix it. Um, some of these are, that was chunky and then like, I don't know, I may have kind of fixed it enough. Yeah, you can see how goopy and cottage cheesy that is. Um, the other problem there was is like it wouldn't blend together. It was like the pouring medium with just bits of paint in it, like speckles. And I do have a kind of a picture of that. I'll try to put it in right now so you can see what I'm talking about. But here's the key that I figured out. I figured it out with the green was the first one I did it on is I put a little bit of paint, probably like a third of this cup, um, in the cup first and then just a little bit of pouring medium and blended it and a little bit of more and a little bit more until you got the right consistency. Um, once I figured that out, this feels like it's thickened up actually since I did this about an hour ago and it took about 45 minutes to get to this stage and then I had to run an errand and now I'm back to do the pour. So like literally just like tiny, tiny drops of pouring medium at a time to have it blend in thoroughly. Um, my, how I was doing it at the beginning was like pouring like half of the cup full and then put a little bit of paint in and mixing, a little bit of paint in and mixing. It wasn't working. You have to do it the other way. Put a little bit of paint or put paint in. I don't think the amount really matters on that stage, but then just a little bit of pouring medium and blend that pouring medium in until you get to the right consistency. Again, that took me a very long time. I have all those extra cups you saw, so I finally figured it out. It was really great when I did. Um, as far as these are concerned, I don't know these uh, apple barrel ones because the paint is so much thinner. I did do it where I just poured, you know, half the cup of um, pouring medium and then paint. I don't know if you could actually get this to the right consistency because they're both so liquidy. The All these other paints are very thick, so it's going to... Thicken up the pouring medium. You can see how 
just watery it is. Let me see. Maybe you can see it. I can't. Um, <laughs> but I don't. I don't think you could really. If anything, you couldn't probably use too much of this because it's just as runny as the paint it is. Um, but yeah, let's get started on some painting. I guess we'll just use these little cups today. What I'll do is I'll do a flip cup and two tree rings on this one painting. I think that sounds fun. might just do a kind of just a slow a slight travel just to make sure that it all gets covered the colors are pretty I'll definitely say that let's do the same thing over here So runny, so nervous. I love this side. It's like there wasn't any red in this cup, or very little, I guess. All right, there's a little piece of fuzz right there. I'm gonna scoot this this way, and then let it pour that way. All right, gorgeous. Let's tilt this one second. I don't think I said this is, I think a nine by 12 canvas, just so you know. So runny. It's really pretty. Okay. Move that this way just a little. Okay. All right. That's pretty cool. I'm excited to see how it'll all dry. Get all the sides. All right. I love this side here, but I also like that side over there. I guess the flip cup's the part I actually didn't like, and it's the part in the middle. <laughs> uh, not that I didn't like it, it's just not as much contrast because I didn't put any, like, really, like, the white or anything in there. This just makes me think of Christmas. Uh, let me torch it and then I will bring you in for a close-up. All right, here we are for the close-up. This is the little section I love right along this side with these blues, reds, and the gold in there. Very shiny. And we've got the white and green portion of the uh, traveling tree ring here. And then our flip cup. Really just reds and blues and some purple and you can see that kind of purpley color I made. And then this corner here, it's just very, uh, a lot of contrast and it's almost like a little line of cells trying to form right there. So far in all of the pouring mediums I have tried, except for the Floetrol that I use, there's some more cells. Looks like they might be trying. And um, no cells. So I'm gonna practice with this a little bit Let's see if there's any way to get cells using this because that would be cool. Um, right now, I love cells. So that's why Floetrol is my current like go-to pouring medium, but I wanted to test all these out. 
let me know what you think about this painting. If there's any specific technique you want me to try using this pouring medium. Again, here's the pouring medium label, but I'll link it in the description below so you can see it online. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about this. And if there's anything specific you want me to try, leave those in the comments and I will uh, do my best to do that for you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do make you happy.